Here's one of our single plane golfers. Uh, he doesn't put a lot of flex in his knees, but neither did Mo Norman. He stands pretty upright, but I can see a little bit more tilt. Um, but as we get a little older, that's a little harder to do. Uh, he's not in a bad position. If you tilt it over a little bit more, the spine and the yellow uh, line would be uh, about on plane. The white line is the target line that he's laid out with his golf club at his feet. You barely see that now. Uh, let's go ahead and play this in slow motion and see what happens. Taking it back, look at that right on the yellow line. A little bit of lifting, a little collapsing right here. And then back on the yellow line, pretty good. And there he goes on the target line. You can see that. Um, he has a feeling sometimes that he hits it left, I mean to the right, but he really doesn't. He's really hitting it where he's setting up for. Uh, there is a bit of a fade on it, but not bad. Uh, what we're going to look at here, a couple of things we want to work on, is the collapse here at the bottom, at the top of the backswing. I'm going to clear everything out of the way. Uh, there needs to be a little gap here. Uh, I'd like to see this, this arm here be a little bit uh, more out away from his body and not bent not, uh, so much. We want the right arm to bend at 90 degrees so there's some gap and the club head maybe then could be up around in here someplace rather than as low as it is. Um, other than that, we see a pretty good swing, good balance. Let's forward it from there. Good balance, good shift, right on through to a nice finish. Not bad. Uh, he's going to be working on getting a little more weight to the front side, but he's doing pretty good. Now, this is a relatively new golfer, so he's doing really, really well.